So what's the application of this for colour theorem? Colouring maps. Oh yeah, everyone loves colouring maps, but is there more than just colouring maps that we can do with the four colour theorem? Well, imagine you're planning a wedding. Okay, so imagine you're planning a wedding and you make a network of people who hate each other. Right, so let's say you've got, there's uh, Grandma Margaret, right, and she hates Uncle Jack, right, and Uncle Jack hates your mate Steve, uh, Mary and Alice, they hate each other, and so you, you're making this network of people in your family who hate each other. And you don't want two people who hate each other to be sat at the same table at the wedding. So imagine the colours represent different tables. Can I colour in this network using different colours so that connected points, which are two people who hate each other, are using different colours? And then you can start talking about how many tables do I need and so on. In general, what I'm saying is, if you have a network and you have some property that you don't want two connected points in this network to share, then you'll use the four colour theorem. Now, it would depend that your network is one of these ones that you can untangle or it's not tangled. Remember that was not a valid network. So what about networks that are a bit more complicated? Maybe your wedding is a bit more complicated. Uh, so we can extend the four colour theorem to more difficult networks. So uh, a network like this one, this is one that can't be untangled, a more complicated network, but this example can be done with five colours. So we can say things like that. If it's a network or a map that you can draw on a Mobius strip instead of just on a piece of paper, now we're getting strange. Imagine a map on a Mobius strip, then that can be done with six colours. If it's a map that you had to draw on a donut or a torus, then all maps on a torus can be done with seven colours. So we can extend the problem. There's a really clever way to do this, and this is really clever. Right, I'll show you how to do this. I'm going to draw you a little picture for this. Uh, so, let's say you lose here, and then win. 